Yo, what is going on, Empire Builders? I got a special guest with us again. Mm. You guys love the last video we did when we were in Denver. Mm. Denver was the last time you were on the channel, I think. Um, we got Ali here. If you guys don't know, he's here. He works with us inside the e-commerce Empire Builders and uh, unshamelessly sponsoring. Uh, you know, this video is unshamelessly sponsored by Untap Focus. <laughs> but today, guys, we're really excited to bring to you guys uh, a good product research method, okay? One of the biggest reasons that a lot of people fail in e-commerce is their products don't solve people's problems, okay? And if you really want your, your, your ad dollars to go further, if you really want your product to be a good seller for years and years and years, right? And I always recommend you guys have sell products that, you know, will sell for years and years and years. Make sure you're solving some sort of problems or, you know, meeting some sort of desire that people have. And in today's video, if you've been struggling to have your Shopify product sell, your dropshipping product sell, your e-commerce product sell, whatever product, it doesn't even matter what you sell. In today's video, you're gonna see exactly how you can take that product, new or existing, even if you're a newbie, and how to actually really put it on overdrive by really going in deep on people's pain points and how to make that product a hot seller. Now, before we get going, if you're a new subscriber or not new subscriber yet, or new viewer to the e-commerce empire builders, make sure you smash that like button for us and smash that subscribe button for us. Every single video, we actually also give away a free 30 minute coaching session with me. To enter that giveaway, all you have to do is drop a comment down below on today's video and you're gonna be entered into win. And during this video, we're gonna announce the winner of our last giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned, especially if you're a previous commenter. But guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. Ali, do you want to say anything before we get going into this stuff? I know this is your your third or so appearance on channel, and you know, you know people love you, man. They they, yeah, they mean, absolutely. I, love you. I can't go anywhere anymore. Everybody's stopping me, mm -hmm. asking me questions. I know. You know, it's it's I didn't tough choose out this there. Life, yeah. I, it, 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 it's <laughs> tough out there. Uh, so, all right, guys. So we're gonna get into it. The first place, the first highest level place. So we're gonna go into some cool tools that I like to use to really see. Uh, what people's problems are is going deep on Amazon, okay? Mm -hmm. Like really going and seeing what Amazon's doing, right? Amazon is the biggest e-commerce platform out there, right? I don't think you should sell your products on Amazon until you establish your own store and stuff like that. So you take control of your own e-commerce customers and your business, then you can just use it as a sales channel, but it's still a great research tool, okay? So Ali, I want you to give me a niche, right? Because I want this to be super impromptu so people don't think that you know we script everything because you even okay. said before the video pete do we have any talking points i'm like <laughs> no let's get right into it. i want i want to be real and share with you guys what niche you want to go into um okay you just got aspen so that's your dog do you want to do pet niche let's do pet niche let's okay pet niche. that's not what i told you to say <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're gonna do the pet niche now if you guys don't know we got aspen uh she's so cute maybe we'll flash a picture of her um mm. so uh pet niche right now in the pet niche, right? The pet niche is so massive. You cannot serve the pet niche. You, I'm sorry. If you're watching this video right now, you are not gonna be the next pet smart right out of the gate. Maybe years from years from years from now you can be, but when you start, you have to niche yourself down a little bit, okay? Niche yourself down a little bit. And I'm gonna give Ali a little bit to talk mm -hmm. because he hasn't spoken much. Mm -hmm. um, w as far as niching down, let's say somebody's in like a big niche like fitness or you know health, pets how do you niche yourself down a little bit further right before you even start looking into these tools like amazon and stuff because you can't just type pets in right you can't mm -hmm. just do that right mm -hmm. how do you kind of narrow yourself down like mentally in your own thought like what's your thought process um when i'm when i'm thinking about how to niche down um usually i kind of this, this is my thought process on it i identify the niche and i identify all the kind of different issues in that niche that i can potentially solve and then I match the problem with the customer and when I when I when I match a specific problem with a specific customer I've pretty much laser niched it down Pete you have a Pomsky and I would literally um, Husky Pomeranian mix yeah so it's, it's a psych, so, so I've, I've identified the breed of the dog right but even you know, there's, 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 there might even be too many people going after palm skis in that whole market, right? I mean, you know, and I want to be more unique. I want to kind of stand out. I want to speak to, you know, a very laser targeted group. So it's like palm ski for, and so the problem is you're a busy guy. You have so much going on running multiple businesses. And, um, and so you might not have time to do stuff with your mm -hmm. dog or for your dog, right? So palm ski for busy, uh, entrepreneurs or, palm, you know, so, so that's my, so, so, so 
and then I can sell I can sell products mm -hmm. directly into that niche. And so once I've lasered it down, and I and I and I know the problem, right? Mm -hmm. You you're probably uh, somebody who doesn't have time to uh, groom your dog, right? Because you're so busy, but you know it's important. And then I can sell right in there so so i and i'm glad you actually brought this up because this is going to make this conversation much more real much more valuable to those of you here and that's what i want this video to be um i'm going to agree with the point that you said but i'm also going to disagree with the point that you said because like for example like pomsky right like it's a it's it's not like a rare dog but mm -hmm. it kind of is like not many not I, that I many that. not yeah. many people have that okay okay so there's something I think, and again, I, I might be completely wrong. I just got this off. I have no idea. Maybe yeah. you just uncovered a golden niche. Maybe there okay. is like, you know, these people that have all these pumpkins. But the way I kind of look at it is like, if you don't know it, then yeah. it's probably not big enough. Because you don't want to yeah. niche yourself down too much. Because like, think about it, like Chihuahua, right? That yeah. would be something to go into because they're, you know, there's a, every, a lot of people have those. Like that's a massive niche. Mm -hmm. Pit bulls, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and those kind of like huskies maybe even mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But I do agree with the point that you said where it's like like grooming or maybe like fashion stuff like that where you can actually pinpoint that specific like desire or what you're actually trying to help them do. 100%. Now, this is where it kind of gets interesting, right? Because you are much better off being like the best person to sell, you know, uh, cat grooming stuff. Mm -hmm. Then to be the person that sells cat grooming, chew toys, cat grooming, grooming stuff, mm -hmm. uh, you know, cat outfits, right? You're better off just being the best at one particular thing. We we're just mm -hmm. we were just yeah. at this place called Italy yesterday, <laughs> uh, stuffing our faces. If you guys don't know, it's like a big place in the Dubai mall. Yeah. And uh, it serves these amazing crepes. And we were talking about like with Nutella on them. We were talking how Nutella is literally like the Ferrero Rocher is literally built on one oh, product, product, Nutella. Right, like that's it. They built one single product. And the same goes for a lot of other companies that you see out there, right? Even Apple, right? Apple started out just being really good at one particular thing, right? One particular thing. And then, yeah, they have a couple products, but even Apple doesn't have that many products mm -hmm. when you really think about it. Right now, they brought it out because they have to. Mm -hmm. Same thing for you, right? When you're starting out, you're better off being the best at one thing, be the best, you know, cat outfits, right? And then broaden out. And then maybe you could do grooming stuff, but you don't have to. Right. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we want to identify and which one do you want to go into? Do you want to go pet? What? What do you want to do? Do you want to go into maybe a niche like a breed or do you want to do like pet grooming or pet outfits? Like what? What's your ideal? Hmm. That's a, that's I mean, I feel like pet grooming and pet outfits and stuff. Those are huge. Mm -hmm. niches, right. Do, mm -hmm. you, do you want to go into. So so here's the here's like the thing that mm -hmm. I would do. Like if you said pet grooming, mm -hmm. what I would do is I would niche that down further as far as size of dog. So what I would do is I would say, hey, if I'm gonna go into pet grooming, I'm gonna be the best at pet grooming small dogs, right? Under 10 pounds or whatever. That's and then there's medium dogs and large dogs. Cause mm -hmm. uh, at least in my opinion, I think there's different kinds of products for each, for each kind of dog. Kind of like dog. brushes are different yeah. sizes for all sorts of yeah. stuff. So let's get right into it. So okay. we can get, we can get into this. All right. So we're gonna, I, what I wanna do is I just wanna put, when I search on Amazon, I want top level category. I don't want my niche category. So what I would do here is I will put something in like just pet grooming. So if we just type in pet grooming here and see what we get, I just want to see what kind of products are already being sold out there, right? Now, common sense tells us, right, there's going to be a ton of different kinds of products that are as far as like brushes and stuff like that which are great. These are these are the kind of, pro these products right here, I mean, they're always hot sellers. Now, unfortunately, it's not enough for you to just be like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna sell this, you know, this brush or these this brush right here. Mm -hmm. You have to add some additional things. And believe it or not, Amazon, Amazon sellers usually aren't bad at doing this because a lot of Amazon sellers, all they do is race to the bottom. And some of them are, are kind of smart enough to bundle in things. So you can see right here, this one's offering like this, right, this little brush and gloves, right, and grooming gloves, mm -hmm. which is very interesting compared to this one, which is the same price, right, $14.97, this one's $14.90, mm -hmm. right, and this person just lowered their price, so they're basically on the same page here, and they're giving you more items, right, they're throwing more items in the bag, right, they're, so they're kind of putting together this nice little offer, which is fantastic, right, this, this I, I like, I like this, this is something that I would honestly recommend, you could probably get these products very cheap, if they're selling it for $14.90, you get this very cheap. very cheap, even this one, look, they're even doing like a little pendant right mm -hmm. here as well, so we could take inspiration from that 
Now, what I'm really looking for here is not just necessarily products. Products are important. What I'm gonna be looking for is like, hey, what's an easy product for me to source? Mm -hmm. I know AliExpress, if I wanna start AliExpress drop shipping, or even sourcing it from, from Amazon directly to test it out before starting a brand and ship my own, this is gonna be pretty pretty easy, right? It's cheap, right? It's mm -hmm. cheap, I could probably sell this pretty well. But what I'm trying to find here is like, what other pet grooming products are there, right? We know the brushes, we know the gloves. What else is out here, right? So different things that I'm seeing here is like these vacuums, right? Like mm -hmm. these, these pet vacuums, right? Because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but if somebody wants, like you have to think about it, like really think about it. If somebody wants to make, is buying pet grooming products, they probably struggle with probably keeping like their house clean. Yeah. Would you would you argue that? Yeah, 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 yeah I believe yeah, yeah. that. And, and I, I have a little puppy and I already like, oh man, like the couch already has like hair on it, okay. right? So it's like those people are already like, oh man, like how do we solve those problems, right? Because that's probably what they, that's the issue that they mm -hmm. want to, you know, the, the dander and the hair and all that stuff, they want to get out, right? So a vacuum could be a good upsell product, right? Good upsell product, it's higher ticket, get them into the funnel and upsell them those things. Different things like this. Like, what is this thing? What? It's a water pick wand, right? This would be something also interesting mm -hmm. I, that you can look into, right? These little scissors with this with this little brush on here. Mm -hmm. These as well, and right here. So, look at this. That's awesome. It's a grooming guide. Holy crap! It's eighty dollars, and There's people are buying it, right? Mm -hmm. So one thing that I love to do. This is if I see on my top level niche category like this pet grooming and I see information products, I love it because I want to sell awesome. information products. Awesome. Give me your thoughts on information products and e-commerce. It's it's uh, it's a great way to up the perceived value of your product, mm -hmm. right? So it's it's a great way to stand out. So it's like um, a lot of the times people will choose to buy from you over somebody else because you went the extra mile and you gave them all the information they needed to use the product, all the information they'll need after some you know because when somebody's using your product you're you're actually creating more problems in their head right um if they're creating if for example if they're grooming their pet the best way to like okay i got this tool but what's the best way to use this tool right is there uh some things that i shouldn't be doing is there some things that i should be doing is there other grooming best practices that i have like all of these thoughts come into the a person's mind when they're actually using the product and if you can already solve all of these um uh, all of these issues number one um they're going to prefer your product over others. Number two, you can charge more, mm -hmm. right? You can charge more. And so, because I know some people are going to be intimidated by like, how do you, what's it, like, because you're, like, I remember when we were, he was in my, Ali was on our mm -hmm. first mentorship programs and I was teaching him this concept of adding information uh -huh. products and you made it like, you made some beautiful <laughs> products, bro. Like, yeah. I, like his information products were, were beautiful, like the PDF guides yeah. and the checklists and all that stuff. You, he was in the fitness space, uh -huh. but, Actually, you were in a ton of nifty, just dude. But <laughs> but like, how did you how did you make information products? Um, so it's 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 actually really easy. So either either I would go out and find PLRs that I could super easily just buy. Just type in PLR plus your niche name, and you find you know hundreds mm -hmm. of easy guys that you can just put in. Or number two, just write it yourself. Like mm -hmm. it, 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 honestly, how. I mean, if you know your niche well enough, it's easy to come up with a, you know, for example, for fitness, right? What is a 12 stretch checklist that you need to do before every workout? You know how or like grateful challenges or something and stuff like, like that. People that. are really grateful if you can give them uh, information that will impact them greatly in a small packet. When you can do mm -hmm. something like that, when it's easy, um, they, they'll carry it around. They'll use it. They'll recommend it to their friends and, and all of that organic word of mouth starts happening when you do something like this yeah and the nice thing is is like you can even use like amazon like right mm -hmm. here so if we like click into this the, i mean this is a physical book it's not an ebook but mm -hmm. that's not to mean like people wouldn't buy this right mm -hmm. like you could probably look at the table of contents here mm -hmm. and like just create your own stuff mm -hmm. right don't obviously plagiarize this stuff but mm -hmm. like table of content give you some inspiration mm -hmm. right grooming equipment management right obviously they make that sound a little cooler yeah. than that because that's boring <laughs> but you can make it sound cooler right and you could they have have all the topics already listed here for you that you can now leverage right you have to be resourceful now what i love to do when i'm looking at products like under the grooming glove or whatever is i love to see hey are they a hot seller right this product it doesn't sell that great but guess what it's still on the first page for pet grooming right mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that people still don't see it valuable mm -hmm. right but what's more important that i want to look at is actually the reviews and i want to see what are people saying negatively about this? Mm -hmm. Because when you look at the product, and we're looking here at a, you know, a book, but still that negative feedback that you see across all the listings of all the products that you're selling, anything you're considering selling, 
you have to try your best your abilities to fix those in whatever your offer is, exactly. right? So somebody's saying here, love the all color, uh, love the all color illustrations. But as a new groomer, this book is not nearly as helpful as notes from the grooming table. So I'm not sure what that means from the grooming table. Maybe they, they're saying maybe this book is too advanced, mm -hmm, right? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm a new groomer, but this book is not nearly as how as notes from the grooming table. Or maybe the grooming table is, is a blog book. or yeah, a book or, or something like that, maybe. So I would be like, wait, notes from the grooming table. Like I would start Googling this and I would start finding, hey, what is this person talking about? Right? A lot of you guys need to be immersed in your niches, be passionate about this stuff, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Because this, like you're this would be terrible. If I was if I didn't like pets, like this would be like pulling teeth trying to go figure out how to groom exactly. dogs. Like I what I'm not saying you have to be an authority you don't need to be an expert mm -hmm. but you need to be like one step ahead of your customers so you, you can see they have a lot of good reviews here um but you know so here's another review not as not as breed specific as i thought it would be right i have a mixed shih tzu yorkie and i wanted more detail for the top of the head and the face so this is interesting right this tells me that you know there's listen if listen if there's one person saying it there's Thousands upon thousands of other people that have yeah. the same problem and you could see three people actually voted this up and say hey They found it helpful. So that means they probably agree with this person So this could be something where it's a hey, you know, what? let's say you're doing pet grooming for small dogs Well, maybe you like have like four or five breeds like chihuahuas Yorkie or all these and you create guides very similar probably very similar to groom them But if you frame them like hey, this is a Yorkie grooming guide your per that person's gonna feel a lot more like oh man This is specific to my breed mm -hmm. to follow instead of if you said oh a small dog grooming guide exactly. This person just exactly. said that That's right this person so just important. told us this now um, do you have anything else you want to you want to talk about as far as Amazon is concerned? I know we could talk about this for no, hours I mean, still, but just uh, just um, the two things that you said picking, uh, you know, looking at, uh, you know, the seller rank. I mean, this is a book, but if we go to to a product and we mm -hmm. look at the seller rank in all the businesses that I've been in, I've never needed anything else besides what you just told me mm -hmm. to find my front end products, right? Just look at the, uh, to, to identify like a mm -hmm. winning product in any niche. If you were to just look at these two things, the Amazon bestseller rank and go and look at the reviews to find more problems to create info products around, you'll be leaps and bounds ahead of any other e-commerce store, whatever it is, selling the same product, right? Yeah. Because your ads will be better. Your offer will be better. You'll be offering more value, which means your price won't seem as high. And um, you know, I just feel like people like to, you know, people like spending money and they'll like spending it with you if you go and yeah, do all of Yeah, you go the extra yeah. distance, right? Over deliver, and I'm gonna over deliver right now for uh -huh. you guys, right? Always over deliver, mm -hmm. right? Something interesting that they do on Amazon is they have the videos of the product as well, mm -hmm. so which you can now leverage for yourself. Now, depending, okay, depending, if you're dropshipping for Amazon this product, I don't see a problem using these reviews and testimonials. But it has to be the product that you sent to them, it has to be. right? It has to be. You can't, you know, don't don't take products that aren't yours. So the same thing goes for your AliExpress suppliers or wherever you're dropshipping from. Ask them for these assets. Look how many videos are here of this product, right? There's a, two pages of videos, mm -hmm. right? That can be used. Look, there's even like this dog right here. I mean, like, look how upset this dog is. He's <laughs> <laughs> so upset, right? But it's videos of your product that you can now use, right? These are, you know, obviously sped up a little bit. These could be, t be turned into your ads, exactly. right? Customer testimonials. Look at all these happy dogs, you know, being groomed or whatever. They're probably mm -hmm. really upset, but mm -hmm. you know. Uh, our internet's being a little bit slow here, but like, holy moly, right? Look, it's yeah. a cat, right? Look at all that hair mm -hmm. <laughs> took mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. that. That's I would awesome. run that as an ad. Right? An awesome this ad. right here is a winning ad, ad. if I ever saw exactly. one because it has the product in it, which sometimes being product first heavy is, it's mm -hmm. tough to, it t totally depends on product. But this product, you could probably put it as a front, but look at the problem scroll solution stopper. right here. Yeah. Look at the problem solution right here. This is a scroll stopper. It shows a, pro a problem solution. It even shows your product. This is a, I love this. Like yeah, I'm totally gonna honestly. save this for our swipe file. This yeah, is a really, really good. Uh, and there's probably a ton of these. Look at all these people are posting these. That's <laughs> awesome, look at that, that's <laughs> look at crazy. This dog. Like, hold on, this was a good one with a dog though. I don't know why it's not loading. You see it? Oh, oh boom. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that's that insane. is amazing ad, right? Problem solution. I don't know. This is smart. This company, honestly, and I know we're kind of going all over the place yeah. right now, and I hope you guys like it. If you do, <laughs> drop a comment um, and smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. King of CTA right here. <laughs> um, but this one right here is, is, is yeah, th if this company might be telling people when they get it with their insert cards saying, hey, post a review with your after using this product.
That's right? Awesome. Like great way to build up those testimonials and reviews mm-hmm. of your product. This is this is this is fantastic mm-hmm. marketing by by this yeah. business. That's why they're number one, right? That's why this this product is number one on Amazon. They probably have their own uh, you know brand around this, and it's not even that expensive. Um, the brush we bought for this yeah. was like fifty bucks. Oh wow! So like, look at this one. It's yeah. four thousand reviews. That's insane. But another place I want to show you guys where you can get some more inspiration is actually uh, answer the public, right? Mm-hmm. This is great for for those of you with the information information products that you want to find added this place you can essentially go and see what people want help with so if we type in like pet grooming and I always like going top level because sometimes you won't necessarily find much if you do like small dog grooming right you might not find that much but usually pet grooming and then you could kind of you know niche it down from there so when I type in pet grooming here Right, it's gonna it's gonna load up a bunch of questions that people are asking in this space and I like to just kind of look at the data right here how much are pet grooming services? How much are pet grooming supplies? Right? People are looking. How much are pet grooming supplies? That is a that is a keyword that means people are looking to buy, right? And different things like super can pet grooming. I don't know what that means, but I, I should if I was going into this niche, I should know what that mean it means. How much does pet grooming cost? So, I mean, right. You so can, look look. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off, but broken. two questions were asking how much, right? How much? So I would literally create information guide around like budget grooming or something along those lines. Like do it yourself, pet and dog grooming, right? My whole angle now, and I'm glad we went into that. I'm really glad you picked this one because one thing that I would do is I would go look and do research in this niche to see how much does it, how much does the average person spend in pet grooming a year? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's $500. Right. Let's say it's five. Let's say it's five hundred dollars. Whatever. I have no idea. (laughs) I have no idea. But I would imagine a, 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 you know, a grooming is you know probably fifty, sixty bucks a day. And if you have a big dog and it's you know has a lot of hair, like it's going to cost a lot of money. I would assume if you go once a month or a couple times a you know a year. I would say that, and then I would position my thing as like, hey, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna say, check out this new grooming kit that we put together. It's gonna save you five hundred dollars a year. Save you X. Right. You're taking. The, a desire that they want. They probably hate going to the groomer. They hate spending that money mm-hmm. and you're providing a solution now with mm-hmm. your grooming kit essentially, right? I mean, just with the first few questions, right? How much is it? You know, how much are pet grooming so much? How much does pet grooming cost? Mm-hmm. Right? A lot of these. So sorry, I, I cut you off when we were kind of no, going so to what we exactly saying. No, so that's exactly it, right? So how much, how, how, how much does pet grooming cost, right? I mean, and it's popping up a lot. So just creating info guides around do-it-yourself pet grooming, DIY pet grooming, or, you know, uh, you could even turn this into an affiliate offer where you just point to budget um you know the top 10 budgeted pet grooming services in Mm -hmm. the states and you can you can you can make money off of that so when you start thinking creatively about solving your uh ideal customers problems and yes one is physical products but one is info products right and then the more that you can do that Mm -hmm. the more the, the higher your value of the product and then when you when you for example i mean how much would you sell this product at? depends on what the offer would be like if the offer for example was you know you get the pet grooming glove you get the pet grooming thing you get the pet grooming um whatever the brush mm-hmm. you get the maybe you have like a video course that you put mm-hmm. in there some pdf guides i mean mm-hmm. it's triple i would charge three times more than what they're getting on amazon i always uh-huh. like to Believe it or not, if I'm starting out, I'll try and be comparable to Amazon Mm -hmm. just so I can nail down the offer because you're not going to nail down the offer the first time. So as you kind of get more customers in, then you can start slowly creeping that price, slowly creeping the price up. And yeah, totally guys, what you have to understand is you're not in like drop shipping anymore, right? You're in the game of solving people's problems, Mm -hmm. whether it's information, Mm -hmm. whether it's physical products, whether it's a mixture of both. So Mm -hmm. I want to quickly show you guys uh, ClickBank as well, right? So ClickBank is a great place to see information products and physical products. Mm -hmm. We're going to actually be selling uh, untapped on ClickBank to mm-hmm. start out uh, to take uh, to take advantage of all the affiliates that they have. Mm-hmm. So you could type in your top level category here. I don't think pet grooming will have one. There is. There is. Yeah. There's. Oh wow. Okay. So dog training, health grooming. Mm-hmm. So the nice thing here is you can go and look at all these people and like see what they're selling. Uh, pet rat care. Right. Look at the <laughs> pet rat care. No. Which okay. Is- Just go and sort by gravity. Sort by gravity. Okay. I remember seeing something. Mm-hmm. Cat spraying no more. I guess it's like a cat training. Yeah. Um, and let's just look at some of these. Whoops. Open a new tab. There's so there's so much great copy that you can find. Kill this. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is what? That I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy. Not gonna lie. This is a scroll stopper that if I've ever, I've seen, ever seen. This you can't get away with Facebook ads, right? 
But they're pl I guess they're preying on the fact that, you know what, like some cats that pee all over your house, yeah. like the owners are probably just so mad they just want to kill them. Yeah. So they're like, and boom, like, you know, everybody's thought about it, but nobody's ever done it, right? So, you know, dear friend, a cat, uh, a cat that pees in the house can make your home smell like a litter box, okay. and they're going into it. Definitely a scroll stop, wow. right? And then they have their authority, right? This looks like a vet or something. Uh, interesting, <laughs> interesting. But the thing is, these guys are master copywriters. Master. Like, whether you like this advertising, whether you're a fan or not i don't care if you're offended by this you you need to not necessarily have an open mind but you need to look at the marketing right mm -hmm. so you get you have like these opinions and it's like look at the marketing of it and don't just make oh, just like this just okay. completely you know like you have mm -hmm. to and this is like something i say in the first module of the e-commerce empire academy and that mod yeah, mindset yeah. like take all of your opinions and put them to the side because everything you've done in the past hasn't worked for you. So just stop being who you've always been to become who you always wanted to be. So, exactly. and I'm not saying this like totally me, I probably would never do something like this because it kind of is like, yeah, it's kind of like, what is this exactly? Like it's kind of morally wrong. It feels like holding a, a gun to a cat's head, but like, you know, I can see the marketing and I can see why people would stop. But you can look at like what they're doing here, right? How are they making sales? What's their copy? I mean, these guys, you know, $37 for an ebook, right? Mm -hmm. So if this was me and I'm selling, you know, some cat, you know, training to, so they don't pee in the house anymore. Maybe I'm selling some supplies as well. I'd buy this. I buy this for $37. I'd look at what they're doing. I take some of the golden nuggets out. I do some research on YouTube and some blogs and stuff and create my own info product that I give it for free. Maybe mm -hmm. I'd upsell it because they're getting away with selling mm -hmm. it for 37 right? Now there's a lot of pet stuff in here, but usually I think ClickBank has a lot of pet training. Mm -hmm. um, here was one pet dog book or something like that. I don't know what this is. This is old school, Wow. but hey, it's selling, right? Mm -hmm. So is your dog driving you crazy? Are you ready for the psych ward? <laughs> <laughs> you know, these guys are funny. So it's a long form copy, October 4th, 2019. That looks like they're, yeah. it's funny because it's October 4th today. So it's just setting that time. Yeah. So long form, if I was doing something with dog owners, I'd be buying all these products to read them and see, you know, obviously look at their offer stack, right? Look at all these things that they're getting. Pup chat, five exams your vet should perform. Puppy shot, seven reasons you're to vaccinate your pet. Three common puppy skin problems, right? Lots of information here and you get it, you know, for however much this is, probably like 20, 30 bucks, whatever it might be, right? And this is a great place to start seeing and, 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 um, Start seeing like what kind of copies working, what kind of information products are people buying? Do you have anything you want to add? Um, so when you're when you're looking at this, also look at the way that they uh, make their product look like. A lot of people when they you know post mm -hmm. a product pictures on their store or whatever, it's a white background, it looks generic. But if you look at something like this dog training book, let's just go here. Um, no wait, sorry, where did? I closed out of it. Okay, but if you if you if you like see the, the way it's the like box that, that mock-up like, cover, yeah, yeah. just that mock-up cover. It takes five to ten bucks to pay somebody to make that make that. And when you have that great product image, um, it really helps you sell the product. It adds it, it adds a lot of perceived value, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like having a nice image, nice offer stack image, showing the product, showing you know your ebook cover, showing your course, maybe that you're putting in there as well, mm -hmm. right? It's going to drastically it's increase your perceived value, right? It's nice to list all the things mm -hmm. out that your customers are going to be getting, but it's even more powerful if you can actually show them it visually as well. I'm telling you, that's a huge, huge game changer. So there actually is a link down below in the description of this video that has a bunch of bonuses down mm -hmm. there. It's a bonus video. And there's a $50 gift card to freeup.com. That's where I personally like to get my VAs and my editors and stuff like that. You get 50 bucks gift card for it. So you could probably get all this stuff done for less than 50 yeah. bucks for you. So, so we're going to end off this video, but if you have anything yeah, else you so, want to add. Um, if you if you do what we just spoke about, two things will happen. Number one, you will identify products that are already in demand. And number two, you'll turn them into truly winning products. You don't really need like kind of like a software. I mean, it's good if you use like product research tools out there to identify winning products, but you you kind of don't have to look further than Amazon or some other videos to get inspired. And once you know that a product's already selling well, it's about how you position yourself in a market that's already mm -hmm. doing well. You identify a laser targeted niche, you take your product, place it within the, and position it within that niche as a product that not only solves the problem well, it solves any related problems. Mm -hmm. um, you charge what you want to make, not what you have to charge because of Good your point. competitors and uh, you make bank. No, 100%, 100%. And that's the thing is guys, like so many of you guys are looking for like this lottery ticket product when it's not like that, right? Like mm -hmm. that's not, that worked guys like years ago you for dropshipping. Yeah, anybody could throw a random Shopify store up, but like you have to evolve. If you actually want to make e-commerce 
or you know online business in mm-hmm. general again it's not all about physical right you have to you have to mesh these different things together and focus not on necessarily what's your next winning product but like what's the next problem that you're going to solve for, exactly. for your customers but guys if you have any questions about today's video drop a comment down below me and ali actually answer your questions 100%. during the first 30 minutes live as well so if you have a question make sure you do that if you haven't already done so smash that like button for us if you enjoyed today's video we appreciate every single like you guys give us and if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that little notification bell as well so you're notified on monday wednesday fridays as we release new content here on the e-commerce empire builders and very important make sure you attend the sales funnel masterclass it is the very first link in the description okay in that masterclass we're going to show you how to take this offer that you now have and not put it into a shopify store not put it into a um, an Amazon FBA business, but sell it into something we call a sales funnel, where it's maximizing the amount of revenue that your business makes so you can actually pay yourself from it, okay? Guys, that'll be the first link down below in the description of this video. But guys, as always, have a fantastic rest of your day, and remember, your empire starts now. Bro, <laughs> what was that? Ta-da. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode on the e-commerce empire builder. So I'm here in uh, beautiful Dubai at the Four Seasons and we're working here in the conference room as you guys can tell. And I was just going through my Instagram direct messages and one of you guys actually messaged me uh, your, your, your Shopify store right here. So 